This is going to be a quick video tutorial to show you how to add text to shapes and lines in Affinity Designer. The technical term is actually adding text to paths, but I prefer shapes and lines. So first thing let's do, let's draw a shape. Okay, so we have a shape here. And then I'm going to go and grab my vector brush tool and draw a squiggly line. All right, so we have our line and our shape here. So first thing we want to do is we want to select the shape. Now you need to make sure your shape selected before you grab your text tool. And let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on, on here. If you notice, I have an A right now at my cursor. And if, as I come to the path, it turns into a T with a squiggly line. When you have that T with the squiggly line, you're re ready to click and add text. So it put it over here. So my, I'm going to add some text. Now notice here, what it added some stops here. We have a beginning point, it's green. We have an end point, it's red. Now I want to center up my text up top. So I'm going to grab my stop point and I'm going to bring it to the right quarter panel. And you'll see it snaps right to when you get it. It gives you a little red line. You see that? And I'm going to do the same with the green. And I'm going to bring it here and it snaps, gives you a little red line. And my text is already centered here because I had it on center. But you could uh, left justify and you can right justify or you can center it up that way. Let's say you wanted this text on the other side of the line. You could come come up here and your and just click your reverse tool, uh, reverse text path tool, and it puts it on the other side. I don't want it on the other side for this demonstration, so I'm going to put it back. Now, let's say you wanted your text uh, to be closer together or further apart. I'm going to triple click, select it all, and I'm going to use my left and right arrow keys, I'm going to hold alt, left and right arrow keys, I'm using my left arrow key to bring it in, my right arrow key to bring it out. You obviously can also do this from your text panel, and you can use tracking, and it will do the same thing. I just find using the arrow keys to be faster. And if you want to do individual letters, you can put your cursor in between them, again hold alt, right and left arrow keys to do that and again you could do it from your uh, uh, character panel as well and you could do it with the kerning here it does the same thing again it's faster with the arrow keys so okay let's say you wanted to add some more text to this let's say at the bottom so we're going to come to the end of this text here and we're going to click put our cursor there then we're going to hit enter it's automatically going to give us a new place to put new text. So we're going to start typing. And you'll notice immediately that we have now some new stop points, uh, beginning and end points here. Whoops. We have a uh, red or orange, orangish red here, and we got a new green one up here. Again, I want to, I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and write just so I want to center this up. I'm going to bring this side down to this left quarter. It's going to click in place. Bring this one up to the right quarter. It's going to click in place. I'm going to hit my center, uh, text center align, and that we're centered up now. You could do the same thing on your line. So we're going to come over here. We're going to Grab my move tool, select my line, I'm come over here, and we're going to grab the text tool. And again, you see we have the A, when it turns to a T with a squiggly line, we can start typing. And you'll see we here we have stops too. And we can space this stuff out as well with the left and right arrow key. So we bring that back and we're going to fix this one here. All 
Oh, I don't like that. So let's let's do this. Let's just get right in between them. And there we go. Make that a little bit bigger. And there we go. You could do the same things. Now, one last thing I want to show you is what, what if you want to reposition your text where it's located on the path. So select it all. And come up here to your baseline. And you can use your baseline. Move it up off of it. Move it down below. And notice when you get near your path, it's going to snap. See that? Same for up here. It's going to snap. If you bring it below, again, it's going to cause your text to squish up a little bit. So we're going to use that arrow key again. The left arrow key. And hold an alt and the left arrow key. And we're going to spread it back out. And so those are really the, the ways to add text to paths and lines. If this has helped you, how about leaving a like, subscribe, leave a comment. You have a good day.